Knowing and choosing the materials at the project is one of the important things that every instrument engineer should know. This is Farzal Lutfi. I will try to help you and teach you which material is useful and applicable for instruments. You know, generally speaking, I want to tell you that we have two different group of materials. You know, if I want to, you know, categorize it, uh, categorize the materials, actually, I can just tell you that these things can be separated into two different parts, non-metallic and metallic parts. So first of all, I'm going to tell you something related for non-metallic material and where you can use them. And after that, uh, we will survey the related metallic materials. So, first of all, let me write these things for you. It's non-metallic materials. As a kind of example for you, I can tell you that one of the uh, you know, uh, most popular and common material in this category is GRP. It's GRP. Actually, GRP stands for glass reinforced polymer, or it is often said as plastic too. So. This material is a really strong and it is usually used for cable tray and even you can find it for, uh, you know, uh, constructing the box of some junction boxes at the site. As I told you before, this material is totally strong and, you know, has enough and adequate stamina, uh, you know, against many things such as, for example, humidity and, you know, the shining of the sun, rains and many other things. Moreover, I can tell you that GRP is usually used on the pipes too, especially on the pipes in which you can find seawater, because as you know that, seawater has a lot of, you know, suspended, um, you know, particles, uh, you know, inside. So that's why, uh, you know, seawater services is a little bit abrasive. And I can just tell you because of the uh, amount of salt or, you know, other uh, types of, you know, article, it can be considered as a, uh, corrosion or corrosive service as well. For these types of things, you know, GRP is one of the most, uh, you know, useful material which can help us uh, to, uh, you know, uh, protect our pipes, uh, you know, against from those services, I mean, seawater. Uh, in, you know, water transferring of a city, I can just tell you that uh, for sewage, uh, GRP material for the pipes uh, can be useful and, you know, these things can be utilized as well for designing and, you know, installing because actually, as I told you, uh, this one has good stamina against these services. In instrument uh, engineering, I can tell you that this item uh, is usually used for cable trays and uh, sometimes for, you know, uh, the material of the junction box uh, housing, I mean, the case. So, another one that I want to tell you is related for PVC. It's the second material that I want to discuss. It's PVC, polyvinyl chloride, is another material which is totally useful in, uh, you know, instrument engineering too. Uh, there are some types of gasket which are often used, you know, in some uh, installation or fastening to uh, fittings with each other in, in which, you know, the gasket uh, is usually uh, considered based on PVC material. Uh, moreover, if I want to actually, you know, get back to, you know, piping uh, material and, uh, I mean, piping engineers, actually, I can tell you that, uh, you know, PVC, again, can be used for the pipes uh, based on, for example, the uh, service or the flow that it is being uh, streamed or, you know, flowed during them, such as, for example, seawater or sewage of the city, uh, PVC is really useful and applicable as well. Uh, for another example that I want to just, you know, clarify it for you more, I can just tell you the outer sheet of a cable, I mean, instrument cable, is uh, always uh, produced based on PVC material, exception, actually, except 
from the things that, uh, for example, we uh, sometimes, you know, face or confront, you know, at the side. I can just tell you that, you know, generally, uh, I can, uh, we can use uh, PVC for the outer sheet of the cable. Unfortunately, you know, PVC has some types of, you know, disadvantages and, you know, uh, drawbacks too. For example, if you just put this one, you know, uh, under the uh, sun shining, uh, you can find that, you know, with the passage of time, you know, there are some scratches or, you know, some uh, types of, you know, crash on the uh, PVC material too, because uh, PVC actually uh, can tolerate around just uh, 70 or maximum 75 degrees of centigrade. And if you just raise uh, the temperature around of that, you can find that it's a little bit deformed or actually you can find, you know, some changes in the shape of uh, the material as well.